It looks like we have an outlook issue uh, for Micron. Christina Partsinevelos, is that the problem with this report and why the stock initially was down some 4%? Yeah, that's a huge part of it because their Q1 guidance or revenue, they're putting it at $4.2 billion. The street was estimating $5.62 billion. So that is over, that's $1.4 billion less than what the street was anticipating. That was the, the guidance for adjusted EPS again for Q1. So we're talking about the forward uh, statement. Four cents. That's what they're expecting. Four cents in adjusted EPS. The street was anticipating 64 cents. So a huge discrepancy right there. In terms of this latest quarter, Q4, what are we seeing? Earnings per share at $1.45, beat the street at $1.30. Revenue, though, came in light at $6.64 billion. I was also just quickly going through the report. What we're seeing from the CEO, and this is a quote I'm just going to read to you, we're taking decisive steps to reduce our supply growth, including a nearly, and this is an important point, 50% wafer fab equipment capex cut versus last year and we expect to emerge from this down cycle wealth position to capitalize on the long-term demand for memory and storage that was a big concern there they had already warned back in august they were meaningfully going to cut capex but again so q1 guidance a lot weaker than the street anticipated and then q4 revenue came in lighter and you can see capex as well um, still an issue yeah. Yeah, Christina, thank you. Uh, you come back to us if you see anything else we need to know on that. So, you know, Adam, a qu another quick comment from you here. So, you know, the guidance is light, but the street probably likes the fact that they're cutting costs to the degree in, in, in which they are to try and come out better on the other side. Yeah, I mean, so you got to, you know, I, I think you got to do the read across. Is that bad for lamb? How much exposure do they have to memory? What about, you know, people saying they like Micron at book value, but if the book value can come down a ton on one earnings report, maybe the valuation isn't there. I mean, there's a lot of variables at play here, but I think the main issue is, you know, when you overproduce consumption, your numbers get, you know, creamed in very commodity businesses, and this is still a very commodity business. There's other part of semiconductors that you're going to prefer at this point in the cycle. All right.